weekend, Mr. Young, you know, debut. Back control, easy. Back control, really easy. Uh, top arm is choke arm, bottom arm is arm to arm. Next, choke side, arm to side. Very simple for me. My partner, um, I'm going to start with the grip. My partner understands that the top hand is the choke hand. That is the immediate danger. So they're going to hand fight to clear up the choke hand. I show an uppercut and I connect my hand to the back of my partner's neck. What I'm trying to do is put a little bit of pressure forwards and down. So a little bit of pressure up like forwards and down, like a quarter Nelson. I did two steps. This is going to go this is going to two. This is going to hold my arm. My knee going to be back to grip weight. I now put my frame in and get ready to do my arm bar. Mr. Young realises this is great danger, touches his hands together to stop the arm bar. This is the key. There's two things I'm going to do that make this really good. Number one, really, really good. Is number one is the most common thing I see is my elbows down, people throw the leg over and give me a feeling to, to run, to run out of my arm bar. So first thing I'll do is slowly, I extend my right arm. This makes it harder for him to hold on because it's also weak in the pain. Number two, what's the best thing? I disengage my left hand, I come out the neck, I now put my choke up. The hand is too far from his neck to defend it, I cut the hand and pull it down. Start my speed. So, hooks in back control, my partner grip fight to stop the choke. I throw an uppercut and I come behind my partner. One, two, from here. He's got his hands on him. This is the part that I see people make the fact they try and rush it. So as I try to bring the leg over, I'm really compromised, and if Mr. Young keeps going this way, I end up losing the position and the arm bar. Right? So we want to make sure we plan the body and elbow so it's hard to really dry, it gives me space to move. Uh, hand fighting, hand fights, uppercut, right? If he's holding on to my hand, right? Okay, everything comes to side. Um, so, <laughs> and grip break. Then the back of grip break. Hands come through, now he's put his hands together, so I'll flare my right elbow. This makes it harder for him to hold on. I can't go on to hold. Grip. The bad thing about it is I'm not on the choke side. The good thing about it is I don't have to be. When you're here, right, you're uh, chin goes onto your hand and your top elbow simply slides backwards over the shoulder and keeps it safe. Don't try and pull it upwards, it gives me space to escape. I close the space off by putting my elbow around the back. That's simply starting to press it on the choke side. One, two, three. Now that's it. So grab your partner. Uh, this is something that I picked up uh, at about Purple Bell level and it changed my game so much in back control. So a long time we're fighting from here. So the downfall about it is these hands are always over my arm. So if I go to hand fight, it's very difficult to hand fight. Second is he can fly the arm out and it's got a lot of stuff that can do with the arm. So what I wanted to do when we first start getting back control. As I get the seat back to the seat, get my seat back to the here, I get my seat back to the up onto the shoulder. So number one, I'm seat tight. This puts me in a far better position to hand fight. Makes a really fast okay. Um, what I'm with this as well is that I like instantly push my hands down, I lose this space. So his shoulders can rotate in the air and he can suck his escape. So what I've done is says, everyone's kind of expecting this to come through. When I throw that up, it's really tough now. It's really easy to hang to start to get to. If he puts his chin down, right, I'm going to be super nice. Right. It's really easy. His chin's down. But I can see that. Now, grab your elbow if you want to, to take the arm bar. You can touch it. Back in. And now, he can't put his chin down because he's on the wrong side. So, 
I stop doing that. I stop doing this, and I start doing this. Look at, look at that arm. That's the system. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm on, I'm on. So, so from here, one, two, keep that battery. So you can't get control. Hand side, switch. Use your head. And then back. Don't let go. Anything by taking our feet out of the back control. Right, so, uh, Micah, uh, I've got a game plan, and the game plan is pretty easy it's to get my partner. If I want to put him on to the one on the choke side, one on the arm side. Um, so, number one is I put my hands through from here. What I want to do is just like disengage my leg. Think about it this way so I want my partner to become a cylinder. So I'm going to slowly straighten my leg, I'm going to put my left elbow, my left elbow to the front. It's on the truck side. So I'm not trying to do this hard, just the, the truck's pretty much on straight away. So a lot of time I'm going here, and I don't want him to start to be in that position. Yeah. So if he tries to turn to his right, or the it's on the wrong side, you start to try and get out. So even my partner now tries to slide and try and get out. And go. Take the arm, back in the game again. So it's going to be everything that I want, but it just saves him, it saves me having to try to keep him in position. I have to put him in a good position straight away and take him. So if we put the combination together, then we're going to move the right and not have your heart. Yes. One, two. If it's straight, roll. Turn that shoulder. 
That would give me that ability to kind of turn and walk my legs. Okay, one, two, three. Worst case scenario, so like, uh, Colin's got the back, and as I'm turning and facing danger, he puts me onto the bad side. So, I mean, I'm on my court, but the choke side at the moment, which is terrible. Um, there's two things I want to do, but that one is this is, I want to get my head as deep as I can onto the ground and my chin as high as I can. So if he tries to choke me, it's giving me a little bit of space. What I see, like, if I'm here, so I try to get my head, like, like onto the ground. Now, He's generally going to get the squeeze on and it's going to be uncomfortable. But that's what it is. Think about it this way. If I hit the snake out, it's going to get down and my arm is arm up. I can't do that. So first thing is I cut my hands. And now, he tries to upgrade because I've got the... So now, that could be a few minutes stuck to break the bank. So by putting my post on this side, he can't come over me because I've got him off on that side. And most people let go, and I'm free to run them. Does that kind of make sense? So we start off with the back choke, and he catches the back choke, and I go this side, he puts to that side, and so I don't want to keep here. So I try to put my head on the ground, I try to my shoulder, so my head goes, like, like my head goes down, I try to get up, and I try to get hard at me. I'm pretty much posted from here, it's very hard. I do like to put this one. If they, if they leave that float, I'll, I'll, I'll and what if I see if they use it, they put their hand back in, and then, but, uh, so even if I go to this one, it's going to give me what I want. This one. It, it's hard to explain. So the Marcavion back choke puts me on the side. So this is all the bad side of my head. So the first part is I put my arm on top of my head backwards and I put it on the side. And here I put it on the side. Yeah. And I'm fine. That means if you just go across the map, See how so that's going to give that ability. So it's kind of like I've got to go head and shoulders. Same thing, you get one shot. I'm not going to see you. Thank you.